singers and performers come on to the morning show. We love that, but not many with a CV like this. Lisa Fisher has had her own successful solo career, earning a Grammy for this 1991 hit. It's like cuddle therapy. And she's also <laughs> lent her incredible voice to some of the world's biggest artists as their backup singer. We are talking legends like Tina Turner, Beyonce, Sting, and Lisa's been the go-to singer for the Rolling Stones for 25 years. But now she's back up in front of the stage where she belongs and in Australia to showcase her incredible sound and prove why she's one of the best in the biz. <laughs> and Lisa Fisher joins us live. Welcome to Australia. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm <laughs> sorry that Larry used your song as like a, a cuddle therapy background. It was, like it was the same as that. It, was, it was not, made me feel warm. And cuddly. <laughs> yeah, warm and cuddly. <laughs> well, you know, it's funny. A lot of people who come to the show will ask me for a hug. So, See? but it, that is very true. So I, I do get a sense that people do need uh, a safe harbor for touching. Oh, you know. that's a nice way of putting yeah. it. You have such an amazing resume. Let, let's start with the Rolling Stones. Okay. How have you ended up working with, with the Stones for all those Well, I was working uh, with Luther Vandross prior to that, mm -hmm. and um, Tony King, who was the publicist for the Stones, uh, came to a show, and Mick was on a solo tour and suggested that I audition, and I got, got the job. Wow. <laughs> now, we saw Mick Jagger, your old buddy, um, stop the tour earlier this year after had, had a, have some heart surgery. Are you in contact with him? Did you, have you spoken to him? I've not spoken with him. Usually, I, I always feel that even though you've known someone for a really long time, that there should always be a professional conduct, and so I don't overstep my bounds. I don't try to reach out and call him and that kind of thing. If he needs me, he knows where I am. Well, you should be more like that with me, Kylie. <laughs> <laughs> Texting me all the time, reaching out all the time. <laughs> if we go through here some with the Stones, Sting, Tina Turner, that rockers like Nine Inch Heels, right? Nine, nine, inch. nine inch Nails, sorry, yeah. Nine Inch Nails. <laughs> nine Inch Heels. Yeah. Yeah. I like yeah, those yeah. fabulous shoes you have on right now. Nine Inch Nails. I mean, how, how do you get these jobs? It, you, you say audition. Like, like, yeah, it's amazing. you know, it, it's amazing. It, it, you know, I just follow the path. It can come from usually knowing other singers, uh, working in the studios, knowing uh, uh, songwriters and producers. Um, the 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 amount of trust that singers have with other singers and and just respect we will pass on numbers so and so wants your number for blah 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 so yeah. it ends up being that let's talk about that path for a sec because you go ahead and win the grammy right and, and you go this incredible solo career is it a big decision to go I, i'm happy to be a couple of steps behind that person or i want to be out the front and the, and the mic in the middle for me it's always been about the music first and so when I see an artist that is about the music, I just gravitate. I gravitate towards them. And to be able to support them is a gift and a blessing to me. Uh, for my journey, it's been about just the sound, the purpose, the meaning of the music. And so I'm very comfortable in the background, but to me, the music is the foreground always. Yeah. And speaking of that, you're in Australia for a tour all of your own. Tell, yeah. tell us about what's in store when we, when we come and see your show. Next. Well, there are three amazing musicians. J.C. Maillard, who's our musical director and arranger. He's done all the arrangements. Uh, there is Aidan Carroll, who's a bassist, producer, singer, songwriter. Um, and Terry Arpino, who is playing drums and percussion. He's the heartbeat of the band. And the way that we speak Speak without speaking is part of the joy and the magic that I love. Mm. Uh, every night is different. Every time we do the song is different. It's uh, it's like a kiss. Oh man, you get a kiss during the concert and then a cuddle after. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a great night out, ladies. It's a it's a tour. This, is a <laughs> this is a great night out. Um, it is uh, lovely to see you. Thank you've, you. You've just calmed the whole studio down. <laughs> yeah. The lovely ways, and we appreciate you coming in. Thank you. Yeah. Enjoy your time in Australia. Thank, Thank you, Liz. And the whole speak without speaking thing, if you could teach that to Larry. Uh, that would be. <laughs>
<laughs> that would be really good. No, look at those eyes you're speaking. Look at those right? eyes. Look at these puppy dog eyes. <laughs> <laughs> what are they saying? What, what are they saying? <laughs> but these eyes are saying, I wish I was further apart, these eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, lovely you. to see If you. you would like to see uh, Lisa Fisher live in concert, uh, head over to themorningshow.com.au for all the 